Hi, guys. Well, uh, here are some random messages for cancer. So please remember that this is a timeless reading. So whenever you come across this video is when you were meant to see it. And please only take what resonates with you. Um, if what I say does not resonate with you, then don't take it. Please don't take it if it doesn't resonate, because that just means it's not for you. Uh, just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So, okay, Cancer, let's see. I feel like right now you're in a time of transformation. You are currently going through a lot of internal changes that are turning you into a well-rounded person. Um, so with the Uranus, Alpuca, and even the Chimera cards, what all of these cards have in common, the common thread is that they all are speaking of vengeance and death and transformation. So in so basically, when we think about death and transformation, when we think about death, what we're, what we're thinking about is, is really transformation. Um, you taking, you ending one cycle and beginning a new cycle. However, in the transition between your old self and your new self, there are pitfalls. And some of these pitfalls might be in when you seek out revenge, you you become closed minded. You aren't able to see all of the um, all the moving pieces that are surrounding your life and make your life as a whole. So when you look, when you're looking at, you know. Right now, you may be experiencing um, issues with, you know, your work colleagues or issues with your family or friends or even love interests. And regardless of what type of negative energies are being sent your way or how you may feel um, you're being impacted, these are blessings in disguise. So what these let you know, number one, is that you're powerful. Number one, Cancer, you are a powerful being. And you're powerful because you live in your emotions. Now, when you live in your emotions, you're able to transmute all of that negative energy and turn it into something positive. And that's because while you may not know it, or you may not really understand it, you are empathic, Cancer. And what an empath really is, is somebody who lives in their emotions and harnesses the power of those emotions to propel themselves into, you know, a, a, a new frame of mind, a new way of being, or to manifest whatever it is that they're seeking to manifest. So, what you do not really see at the moment right now, Cancer, is that as you are at a crossroads, as new ways of thinking, new ways of being, new path and new paths, spiritual paths are opening up for you right now. That means the life that you lived prior is closing. So the people that you might be currently having issue with, they're of little consequence to you because and and the at the end of the day, it's about your spiritual growth. It's about your growth as a person. It's about your ability to see things for what they are, see people for who they are, and to move forward in your life without having to worry about whether or not Oh, if I say this, is this person going to come at me? 
or as much as you may tell yourself you don't care, you know deep down that you do. You do care. Otherwise, none of the cards that I'm seeing would be showing right now. And so when I'm looking at like the Chimera card, what I'm I'm seeing is that you're being given an opportunity to advance in your path, advance in your life, advance in all areas of your life. However, you need to be able to see the opportunities that are right in front of your face. And when you are so focused on, on exacting out your revenge on other people or, you know, getting even or, you know, when you are so far in your negative energy, you blind yourself to the blessings that are all around you, you know? So what I really feel right now for you, Cancer, is that open your eyes, take a step back, and see the forest. Don't focus so much on the small things because the small things are insignificant. You need to focus on the bigger things, the bigger pieces of your life, the bigger portions of your life, because that's what really matters. So if you get into an argument with somebody, you know, over something stupid, or if you, you know, you break up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, you know, it, it's not cool when... The people that you thought that you could trust, the people that you thought that were there for you when they actually turn out not to be there for you, you know, and they start to reject you. But you should be taking those rejections as blessings. You should be thanking them for giving you the strength to be fully in your power and unstoppable because when you realize all your gifts, when you realize that what, what you're doing now in your life is where you're actually meant to be, you know, because these are, you cannot deny the, your God-given gifts. No matter how hard you try to hide or how hard you might want to you know, not really embrace all parts of yourself. You're being forced to embrace all parts of yourself because of the negative energies that are be that are surrounding you at the moment. And they're surrounding you at the moment so that you can grow. That's why you're going through what you're going through right now. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there is always, always a way forward. You are never alone. You are never without hope. And you will find your own justice. You will find your own justice, Cancer. You just have to broaden your perspective change the way you look at things and accept people for who and what they are and when people show you accept people for who they are and accept whatever role you play in your current circumstances so you can move on and move forward so if you are of a witchy sort, then um, what I'm really seeing in these cards is that there is a death current around you. There is necromancy around you. There are There is all of the lower vibrational energies, you know, that people might send your way. They are around you. And... While this is meant to, to test you, this is meant to um, try you, 
what they do not realize is that this is also going to empower you. Every time you send something negative to someone, every time you... When people feel like they're isolated, when people feel like they are being um, attacked in some way, it elicits the fight or flight hormone, you know, within everybody. And this is when you realize when you are going through your, um, your dark night of the soul, so to speak. This is when you find out what you're really made of, how powerful you actually are, and that no matter what life throws at you, it doesn't matter because you'll be able to conquer it. You'll be able to rise above all of the negative energy that is being tossed your way. And you'll become even more powerful than even you realize you are. You just need to synergize everything that is going on in your life right now. Everything that is being thrown at you. You need to take it all in. You need to take a deep breath. And you need to determine what is your best course of action. And then take that action and move forward. Don't allow yourself to be trapped in an illusion or a delusion. Step into your power. Be who you truly are. And live your life by your rules, not by anybody else's. And don't worry about, you know, he said, she said, whatever. At the end of the day, it doesn't even really matter. All, the only thing that matters is that you are learning and growing and taking on harder and harder challenges. So I hope this resonated with you. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. I love to read your comments. So until next time, dark blessings, cancer.